Alright guys, and welcome back to this Vakirk Volvo build series. And in part 3, we started constructing the truck and working on the front axle. Now, it's not a lot, but we are making like baby steps. So, there's like the front axle layout, and we have only got steps 1 and 2 within this complete so far so we're gonna construct the knuckles here and put the brackets onto like these little suspension type arm things which no doubt these will bolt up to the chassis somewhere later on and then we'll try and look at building up the airbags so we'll get a bit more progress done on this I don't want to be um, going too into too much detail of stuff that you already know like showing all the snipping and the filing but we'll still keep going over that and explaining that so everyone's always still in the habit that you must do this after like every time you trim something off a sprue just to neaten everything up and not only that it might affect fitment placing within the build later on down the line you never know so it's always best just to have it nice and neat anyway. So moving on and we come to part three of the build. So once that um, front axle is constructed we can then move on to the rear axle which is the actual axle and diff housing and stuff like that. But that will be another video but for this we'll try and focus on just getting this bit complete and I think I mentioned yesterday that because we're coming up to 5A in the airbags we do have uh, revised updates to go off here so for 5A and various other parts throughout the build so if you've got one of these and you have one of these just be checking what numbers you're at because you don't want to end up constructing something wrong or putting the wrong size screws in because in some of these they have sent out longer screws and things which will fit it's the first truck they've ever ever like built or put into production they normally make in the aftermarket parts and the upgrades so credit to them you know they've gone back they've revised it all and basically it's, this is their baby steps I guess to maybe producing more trucks in the future who knows so step three, we've got these like steering knuckles, steering arms, so we've got those and we're going to need bag BM112 for this part and XV106, XV123 and BM105. So we're going to take these off the sprues here, I am going to keep this because I don't know what this excess little bit is, it might be a part. I don't know so I'm just going to keep that for now just for that little part but yep I'm going to uh, trim these off the sprues clean them up here at the ends where we've bust them off and then if you take a close look into the manual here it shows that at these lines we have to break those side off so we're going to have to snip them ends off at the groove there Again, just give this a little clean up. So now we've got those bits out needed out of the bags, I've just popped the bags back for easier access later on and now we can uh, construct. If you move to step 3 on the instruction manual and have a look around you can see that we're in numbers now in the order of construction of this part. So first bit by snipping them which we've done and then you move to number 2 here and then 3 and then 4 and then five so very simple so step one like I say we've cut 
I'm going to take this and you can see here number two which that will slot into there then you want to take the little steering arm as the manual that just slots into the axle here and then we've got one of these BM 105 We'll drop that into place for rear and then this will hold it all in. See, it's a little bit fiddly. <laughs> and skewer that with the nuts. Same on the other side, can nip these up with a nut driver in a sec. Then, in side the little steering arm here, we have these little grub screws. I'll take one of the grub screws and we're just going to screw that in place in there. And basically all that's going to do is bite up against this rod that's gone through there. There we go. And then you just want to repeat that step for this side. And now all I'm going to do is just nip these little nuts up. And remember when you're putting this together to make sure that your arms and everything else are the correct way around. So just always remember, just keep following that manual. And not too tight with these. Just a little finger tight. And that guys is step three. So step four, and we got the chassis mounts and looks to be the steer arm. And these are what we're gonna be needing. So a few little metal parts, some plastic parts. So there's the chassis mounts, got them cleaned up, filed down, and the rod ends for the steering arm. So we just need to get all the little nuts and screws and stuff like that and then we can construct this bit and then we'll leave that for now for this episode and then we'll move on to 5A, 5B the revised editions and we'll go through that in the next one so BM106 BM111 XV135 XV139 and XV123. So the first bit is this steering rod and the rod ends and these just screw into place there. Um, now unlike the tam here this doesn't tell you the like width to screw it up to so We'll put it all the way for now and then we'll just see how it looks on the axle as it may need a slight adjustment same on the other side then on to the second point which is the ball ends and as you can see there they just snap into there Again, same on the other side. Then we need the axle. And this is where we can see if it all lines up nice.
So I'll just adjust that slightly. that looks much better so once you've got the steering rod you just want to take the washers I can pick the damn things up uh, one over there and where's the other one That's just it dude, I can't find it anywhere. Hey, yeah, yeah, I'd, um, I'd like to report a missing washer please. Yeah. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Damn you. Now we can proceed. Hey, sorry about that guys. So yeah, washer on the other side and then oh, where's the damn nuts there we go two nuts yeah, I just want to nip them up tight again you don't want to go too tight where you're crushing in the plastic, but just so they bite. Then we come into um, the suspension brackets, which bolt to the chassis. So make sure you got those the right way. It's nice just to lay stuff out on your manual as it is. And then, it's just my personal preference, which I find it easier to follow that way. So, taking this, pop that into there, that through there, so that kind of like holds itself on there. And same again at the other side. Then I presume, because these don't sit on there properly at the minute, so I'm presuming once we've built up the airbags, um, the airbags will sit on here. But then after the airbags, I'm presuming once it all bolts to the chassis, that's when it'll hold itself together. And maybe there'll be something else that'll come between these two points. But at the minute, that's loose and not actually fixed. It just comes off and slides out at the moment. But I don't think that's an error or an issue or anything. I just think it's just the way the manuals go in. So nothing to worry about there. But that, chaps, is now step four. And already you can see now the progress being made. And it's starting to come to life with the first axle constructed. So we'll come back in the next episode. And um, we'll do the airbags, because these are revised, as I said. And then, when you turn the page, we will then be on the rear axle, which will be more progress. So, thanks for watching. And also, if um, you'd like more videos of this throughout the week, just comment down below and let me know down below, because I'm thinking of doing maybe three to four rather than just the Tuesday and Friday videos and then we can get through this build a little bit quicker so just let me know down below if you want more and we'll leave that at there for now as I said step 5 the revised bits on the airbags in the next video 
and I'll leave you with that so as I said that's <laughs> all part of it at the minute so if you're following this build and building with me then hope you're having fun with it and everyone else enjoy your builds and your projects and I shall see you guys in the next video ciao for now guys